well as the info. A group had moved into Spain and then to Northern Europe and became isolated and eventually gave rise to Neanderthals. Uh, there was also another group that stayed behind in Africa that eventually gave rise to us. Um, we do see a shift, especially in this one. We have a low uh, cranial vault, low and long, which we will see up here again in Neanderthals. So this is um, probably one that was found in Spain, one that was a direct ancestor of the Neanderthals, where we have others that look more modern human-like. Um, so what you guys end up seeing is kind of like this transition, okay? Ones that start to look more like Neanderthals, that give rise to Neanderthals, ones that look more like modern humans, that give rise to modern humans, obviously. Um, they have a level wall stone tool complex that look uh, like these blades right here. Um, we are at this point strapping them to poles, using them for long distance hunting, but not as complex as we're going to see in modern humans yet. But we are definitely getting more advanced with our stone tools. From Homo heterogensis, we have uh, Neanderthals again, that group that became isolated in uh, Europe. We evolved into Neanderthals. Um, some traits specific to Neanderthals, we do have an increased cranial capacity. They have the largest out of all the hominins, especially modern humans. We don't have a nuchal torus. What we have is a uh, occipital bun. Okay? This uh, area right here is pretty circular. Um, they do have a heavy brow ridge still, some traits unique to them. We have a large nasal capacity. And then when we get done, I'll go up there to compare the uh, Neanderthal skull to the modern human, or excuse me, the Neanderthal and modern human skeleton. We'll talk about some more things. These guys do not have a chin. Um, they do have relatively large incisors that we tend to find worn down quite often in the fossil record. Uh, we have a couple of famous examples here. This is the old man Neanderthal who was cared for. They did not think he'd be able to survive unless he was cared for. Um, in his mandible, we see he's missing teeth, and he's been missing them for quite a while because there's not even sockets left. So a lot of anthropologists use this as evidence to say that they cared for each other, that they had empathy, which is something we associate with modern humans. Lastly, we have Teshiktosh, which is 8 to 11-year-old boy. I think he's probably closer to 11. Um, he was thought to have been a hybrid, but in reality, he's just a sub-adult, so he hasn't grown into his features yet. Um, but he is a Neanderthal as well, and he's got a nice little occipital bun back there going on, so he's a good example to look at as well for that. And you can definitely tell he's going to have a huge nasal cavity. Okay? Mm -hmm. And lastly, 